Okay, folks, this is an old squirt bottle, pop bottle. You could probably use Coke bottle, Dr. Pepper, Mountain Dew, whatever. It's that PET plastic to PET stuff. I'm going to show you how to make a wiring loom to hold your wires together uh, with it, with this dowel rod here. And trusty old heat gun. You could probably use a little torch like that or something else, but uh, yeah, I just made me a wire, uh, a shredder, a couple razor blades and washers and screws. You can go on other guys' channels to learn how to do this stuff. I'm going to show you how to utilize it another way besides you know, wrap my hammer handle with this plastic uh, just to give it a better grip so I can grip it better and I heat shrinked it on there. Kind of help protect it a little bit too. So I'm going to show you how to make a wire loom. Okay, you can see I got most of this three foot dowel rod coated with the green plastic pop bottle. What I did is I just took a little saw and I notched a, let's see if I can find it there, get the camera right. Just notched it at the top, made a thing to hold it and then just wrapped it around there by hand all the way. And then I just stuck a little pair of vice grips to hold it on the end. Now I'm going to heat it up and I'll show you what I do here and then I'll have to turn the camera off. I could just kind of warm it up back and forth like this until you know, you get the whole thing to take shape. I'm going to turn the camera off and do this, spin it around and heat it up, and then uh, get back. Yeah. Here's how you can tell when it's done. It starts pulling away from each other, shrinking up. Uh, it starts to shrink. And then you just let it cool a little bit. Now this is what we're trying to make. Remember I put one of these above my clutch pedal. But I'll show you how to make a cheap one. Pretty much free. Well you, need, well, you gotta have a dowel rod and some razor blades and stuff. But you'll see that on other channels. This uh, dowel rod's a 3 8 dowel rod. Like I said, I just clamped it there. And I have it just in a notch over there. And then I just spun it around. And then as I was heat led, uh, vice grips down there, as I, I just twisted a little bit like this and moved the thing up and down, uh, the heater can do that and hold the camera at the same time. But that's how I was able to get it to evenly shrink like that. Now we're going to take it off. I'll show you what it looks like when you take it off. Okay, here's what it looks like when you take it off. <laughs> it looks like old school landline phone cord. But uh, getting ready to wrap it around some pla uh, wire and show it to you what it looks like on the wire. Well, there it is. Uh, I put some clear on this end so you can see what clear might look like. It's got a little glue from label, but uh, this is the green from the squirt ball. Notice I left one out just so you can see that you can leave them out while you're wrapping them if you got to go a certain area. The thing about this stuff is you can just keep twisting it until it's super tight. And then I left the red one out here as well so you can see. And I just, of course, this is just a test. I just wanted to show you what you can do with this stuff. You gotta be patient with it. Just like this stuff, you gotta be patient with it when you wrap it. But took me about five minutes to do this clear and this green this far so I mean yeah I hope you like it I mean I sure do I'm gonna start doing this uh, for my wiring harnesses in the future this stuff is almost like uh, MC you can bend it around and it'll kind of hold its shape uh, you know wherever you gotta go you could probably even warm it up one more time on the wire to even shrink it up and tighten it up more. But, uh, yeah, there's the coil right there. What's left of it? I just did that to show you what I was doing. Made out of a plastic pop bottle. You could go on other guys' channels to learn how to slice that pop bottle 
into a rope like that. And then just use the dowel rod like I showed you. Heat it up and uh, it'll hold its shape just like this. Makes good wire. Wire, uh, whatever. Also, if you want to get car show crazy, I mean, this is green. This is clear. I know they make red and blue as well. All probably different colors of this stuff in bottles. Just got to shop around. But, uh, yeah. Works real well to hold all your wires in place. And also you can uh, exit if you have to. And then just keep trucking with it. Uh, in case you got like LED lights on your running boards or something. Keep it all in order. Here's my slicer. Just a couple, bunch of washers stacked up. Uh, with a sheetrock blade in there. Piece of copper pipe smashed with a couple screws on a block. So basically you just drop the bottle on there and spin it around. Cut that thing. Take some practice, but you can get her done. There's other guys probably got better ideas. But I just showing you how I did mine.